Right you lot, welcome to a new video. It's been a while and the reason for that is I have just been completely snowed under with obviously work and uni, exams and all that. But I'm back with a new video because I wanted to get a video out. Um, I did want my next video to be obviously me out fishing. Um, I've been sent some mm -hmm. FFS lures uh, to review but obviously that river, it's, it's just an absolute nightmare at the moment. It is just... Same as every winter. Um, it's not no point at the moment. I mean, it's been high, it's been coloured, strong flowing. So yeah, fishing was out the window. So what I've decided to do instead is to do another overview video uh, because I knew you guys liked the last one that I did on the Savage Google Land throughs. So obviously, what I'll do today, I'll go through each lure in the collection. Um, say how they work, how they fish them, and why I like them. And yeah, so just like the last one, but with a different lure selection this time. So the lures I've chosen to do an overview on today, are uh, obviously a brand of lures that I love. It's uh, lures that I always take with me when I go on a session. And lures that obviously, the really simple to use really and they're just fantastic um custom lures and those lures are pm lures uh made by the once legendary mark benton a good friend of mine and yeah he's a top bloke by the way so yeah it's one of the nicest guys i know as well so yep yeah, shout out to mark great job with these lures um so what i'll do show you each individual lure in the collection how i'd fish him what i like about them and I'll just, just show you some of the amazing work that the Mark does. And yeah, so without further ado, we'll get... So the first lure that PM Lewis brought out was Ziggy. Uh, Ziggy is a 12 inch jerk bait, and it's actually one of my favourite jerk baits. And I actually rate this over the Western Swim that you know I use quite a lot. Um, so what I'll do for this overview is obviously I'll go from one lure, I'll give it a review, quick review, um, I'll tell you how I like to work it, and then I'll move on to the next one. So straight off the bat, as you can see, Ziggy has a very nice paint job, uh, that, that would be in a custom lure, and Mark obviously, he, do, he does so well with his paint work. Um, with it being custom, obviously you can get a paint in any colour you want. Uh, this one is Piranha Pattern, so it's nice and shiny with a red belly. And I like this because it's kind of a mi mix of a natural and unnatural. So on my river, obviously, it looks natural enough, but it's also bright on the bottom. And pike seem to like that, I've noticed. Um, what else is good? So, yeah, nice sharp hooks. So all the Mark's lures are fitted with nice sharp hooks. Uh, great hookup rates on them as well. I mean, never had a problem with them. So, yeah. Um, another thing is the epoxy work. And the epoxy work, it's really tough. It's a few layers of epoxy, which is fantastic. And mine's got a, a few little scratches on because I've had a few pike on it, but that's actually a good sign, I say, because, you know, it proves that the lure works. Um, there's two of it, there's two of the sizes. Yeah, there's a big 7-inch version, much bigger than this, the 12 centimeter version, and the little baby version. Uh, but the baby version's more aimed more perch and chub. So, yep, yeah, it's a quick review. And now I'll go on to how I like to work them. Um, what I like about these um, is that they're so simple to use. Uh, it's it's kind of a running theme, actually, you'll notice in this video. Because uh, all, all Mark's lures, they're actually very simple to use. And the reason for that being is, uh, Mark believes that, obviously, if you're paying for his lures, you don't want to, obviously, be finding them hard to work. So he's made sure all his lures are very simple to use, but they're also very effective at catching fish as well. Um, obviously, if you follow a Facebook page, it's obviously like the PM Lewis page and other uh, Facebook groups, you'll see Mark's lures being used and catching some really nice pike on them. So obviously, you know the work and they're very easy to use. So Ziggy is a very simple lure to use. Uh, the three ways I like to work them. Um, the first way you can work, obviously, is just giving light taps of the rod. Uh, so, you know, you cast out... Uh, make your line, you know, tighten your line, and then obviously when you're reeling, just work that slack line and light taps of the rod will get Ziggy to jerk. 
sideways. Uh, but don't forget the pauses, because the pauses are very important with this lure. Because what this lure does, when it pauses, it'll have a nice strong wobble on it. Um, give a nice flash on with those sparkles and also will look more like a dying fish in the water. Going down in the water. And the pike just love that. And obviously, the few pike I've had on this, it's always been on a pause. So I'd recommend getting a pause in. Uh, other ways, you can straight retrieve it. And that just gives a nice S curve in the water. And that is obviously the most simplest way to use it. And it will catch fish. We just cast out and just straight retrieve it. It'll have a nice S curve in the water. And obviously you're getting that flash as well. And obviously S curve and the flash works well on sunny days as well. Because obviously the sun's hitting the water. You'll see the spat of the shine on the side. And yeah, pike will see that and have an easy meal. And the, way I, the final way I like to use it is obviously half cranks. So you know, quick cranks. It'll start to side like that. Pause. Wobble, 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 jerk, 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 you know, half cranks, then pause again. And that's what I've had most of my fish on, on this, is just like half cranks, pause, sink. Half cranks, pause, sink. And the few pike I've had of it have came on the hits, on, on the pauses, and that's when I've got the hits. So that's Ziggy, 12 centimetre piranha pattern, awesome jerk bait. And that's the first one in the series. We'll get on to the next one now. So the next lure in the series is Little Johnny. Uh, it's a personal favourite of mine. And one of the reasons is just I found it such a cute lure. Uh, but it's also a very effective lure as well. Maybe small, but it's produced some really nice fish as well. Um, if you're familiar with PM lures on Facebook, you will have seen that a certain fisherman had caught 50 plus pike this season alone on a little Johnny. And the lure just uh, was still looked fishable after all that fish. So it just proves that the epoxy work is quite well on it and it's quite a tough lure. Um, and the, the tail looked pretty good as well, to be honest, for 50 plus fish. But yeah, it it was, you know, it, they put, it had scraped away, but it was it still looked fishable. But yeah, 50, 50 plus fish, that's quite a lot in the season, just on this lure alone. So yeah, really good. Uh, I'll give you a quick review. So the epox epoxy work as well, like I've just said, 50 plus fish from a, from an angler, and it's it's still good. So yeah, strong epoxy like always, nice sharp hooks. Um, when you first get your little Johnny, uh, you'll get two tails. So, um, and they correspond with the colour you've got. So I've got Fire Targa and I've got a choice of either orange or green. So, obviously, if you want to change it, you just get it. And there's a little corkscrew system. And you just unscrew the tail like that. And obviously, just chain, screw it back on. Or, like, you know, the different colour. But I like orange, so I'll keep the orange on. So, yep, yeah, that's how you change the tails on these. Very simple and easy. So, yep, yeah, it's a nice, nice lure. Uh, it sinks quite well. So, you know, be good in the winter when you obviously, you know, want to fish as slow as possible. And obviously, fish it slow. That tail's going like this, giving off all those vibrations, attracting the pike in. So, yeah, I find this a very good winter lure. So, obviously, if you're struggling in the winter, Try one of these out and you, you might get some luck on it just uh, from that alone. Very simple, slow fishing, tail going. You get vibration. So yeah, that's the end of the review. And now I'll go on down to fish it. So just like Ziggy, this is also an incredibly easy lure to fish, just like the rest of them. Like I said, it's a pattern. So yeah, straight away, cast out, retrieve it slow. Slow retrieve, get that tail going. Um, Add some pauses in there, you know. Pauses, let it sink, speed it up a bit, slow it down, uh, put some jerks in, get it jerking. It's These are all very good ways to attract pike. You know, just do something out the ordinary, you know. So, retrieve it, speed it up, sink, jerk it, you know. Just experiment with your, with your casts and you'll get some good results on these. They're just so easy to use and you can use them in so many different ways. So, yep. Yeah. There's little Johnny, and we'll get on to the next one. Mm -hmm. 
So Mark had already made a jerk bait and a tail bait um, to good success. So it was a matter of time before he tried out surface baits. So, and the surface bait he designed was the rat, a little beautiful lure that um, slowly became uh, a big fish catcher with uh, lure anglers. And um, it's it's not just pike that these catch, um, also chub. Uh, Dom Fishing UK, another YouTube channel. He um, he's got a nice video on PM lure rats, and he, he catches some nice chub on him. So check that out. But also Mark, um, Mark Benton, who made this, he had such a nice size perch on this, and uh, I'll include it right here right now. Absolute monster. So yeah, uh, very good lure. So yeah. It's, a, it's quite a nice bait, so I'll get into the review. So first of all, when you get it, you notice it's obviously flocked. Uh, flocked is it's got felt on. And I'd, I just love the concept of that when I first saw it. Because I've never actually known a lure to be flocked before. So this was completely new to me. And obviously, yeah, and little thing. I think um, these lures kind of look like those Sylvanian families. You know, the little <laughs> uh, animal dolls you can get. <laughs> little, little bit of uh, fun there but back to the lure great lure so yeah sharp hooks and obviously as well with the tail yeah, he sends you a spare tail as well so that's quite good Um, obviously yeah surface bait very good and the flocking's quite new actually Um, as you saw in that picture I just put in that was the uh, the old model which was just completely you know plastic or lure material I don't know but yeah, the flock is quite new, so if you order these from now on, you'll get a flock material, which is quite nice. But also, as you see, the lip also has PM lures carved in. Um, quite nice custom lips, actually, so you know where it's from. I quite like that little touch, actually, <laughs> really good. Um, yeah, so there's your rat, standard surface rat. Nice wobble on the body when you retrieve it in. Um, obviously, I only got this a few weeks ago, so I haven't had a chance to use it yet, as the weather conditions have been quite right, because I like my surface lures about springtime, when the fish are obviously feeding close to the surface and in shallow water. So, yeah, try this out in the spring. Um, obviously, I haven't got to use it, so I wouldn't know how to fish Well, I do know how to fish it, but I haven't seen it firsthand. But, like I mentioned earlier, Dom's video on these basically sums it up. Um, it's got a nice bubble in the water, obviously, like this. So, you know, curves of the water. Um, and obviously how he retrieves it is just, you know, cast, retrieve. Nice bubble on the body. Um, or you can, like, you know, speed it up, stop, speed it up. Add a lot of commotion on the water, get those fish attracted in. And you'll just get a, you'll get a lot of fish on these. Uh, well, what I've seen anyway. From, um, you know, people on, you know, catching with these nice fish. Like I said, not just per not just pike, perch, chub. They just all love it. So yeah, there's another one I'd recommend getting. It's a uh, PM Lewis Rat. Nice surface bait. Nice flocked. Lovely paint job. And yeah, it's a great surface bait. So yeah, get one of these for the summer or the spring. And yeah, try them out for surface fishing because it's a great lure. So yeah, we'll get on to the next one now. <laughs> So the next lure on the list is one of the most attractive lures I have ever laid eyes on, and that is Frank the Crank. Beast of a lure. <laughs> it's huge, it weighs in a whopping 109 grams, but the artwork and the detail is just absolutely breathtaking. I've seen people with these, and a lot of people have said that it's a work of art, and I know a few people who have said that this lure just looks too nice to use. But, yeah, once again, people have caught some really nice fish on it. Um, it's a crankbait. Obviously, it's got a lip on. Get a good dive. Uh, it dives up to about six foot. So, yeah, quite quite a deep lure to work in deep water. Good lure to work in deep water. Um, nice sharp hooks. So, yeah, just like the others, very sharp. And another thing as well, on the retrieve, it's quite noisy. It clicks. And the fish pick up on that. So yeah, it's a very attractive lure. Uh, some versions, they also have feathers on the hooks. But uh, this one doesn't. But it doesn't really matter really. But if you like like a bit more attraction, um, you can request having feathers on the hooks. Uh, paintwork's fantastic on it. 
And yeah, it's a very good lure. Um, see, the only problem was when I got this is that I use uh, snap lock swivels, and with those uh, slap locks, they were very very difficult getting them in the eye of the lure. It was a it was a pain, pain in the backside really. I couldn't get it in. So quick easy solution. I put a split ring on, and yeah, that just did the job great. It slips on easy now, and it is just fantastic. So yeah. Uh, epoxy work, fantastic again, nice and hard. So yeah, it's going to survive quite a lot of pike this, and it's also going to bring me a lot of pike. Uh, I've, I've had a test of it, and it's pretty good. It's a pretty damn good lure. Um, just swims so nice in the water. Just you know, comes in, crank it hard, goes deeper. You know, or you can retrieve it really slow in the winter, and it's it's just beautiful. So fire target pattern, nice and bright, very very nice. And that's and it's also got the same branded lip on as the rat, which I really like. Very nice touch to that. Uh, yeah. So how how do I retrieve this? Very simple again, like the others. Cast it in retrieve. Pause. You could pause it. You know, give it a pause. Let it sink. Retrieve it some more. Get it deep down in deep water. Faster your crank. Get it down deeper. It's just a normal crank, really, but it is it's such a nice crank, honestly. So yeah. Once again, you can get them painted any colour, roach, trout, anything you like, and they just look superb. Absolute piece of artwork, these. Um, yeah, so that's that's Frank. Very nice. Very nice action. And, yeah, this is going to be a serious fish catcher for me over the next few months, and especially in the summer. You know, nice days. Get that noise thingy. That noise going in the, as a retrieve, and it's just going to get absolutely hammered. I can tell. So yep, yeah, it's going to it's going to be a very good lure. So that's Frank, and we'll get on to the next one. So the last lure I'm going to talk about is one of the latest in the PM Lures line, and that is Ben 10. Uh, ben is a beautiful lure again. It's a pull bait, so you know you cast it out, float to the top, you pull your rod, and it'll go down, float back up, pull it again, and it'll float up. Um, yeah, so Ben, and I know what you're all thinking, and I'm going to address this now. I'm going to talk about the elephant in the room. A lot of people are comparing this to another lure that you might have heard of. And if you're a you know, keen lure angler, you will have definitely heard of it. The squirrely bird. And I know Mark has been getting a lot of abuse from people saying that uh, these are basically just a bird clone. That he's took a master of a bird, done, you know, the stuff with it, and just basically use it as a carbon copy. But that's not the case, and I'm going to prove it today. What I've got with me is your standard squirrely bird. And yeah, if you just hold it like that, yeah, it's the same shape and the same tail and the same concept. But it's different. First of all, the heads. Squirrely bird has got more of a diamond shaped head. Where Ben has got a nice smooth, obviously, you know, circular head. That's just to assist the dive. It's 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 an essential with pull baits. Obviously, to get them to dive down, so it's not a copy on that case. Um, another thing you can see, obviously, it's it's uh, let's get side by side. It's thicker. Ben's uh, thicker than uh, Squirly Bear. You know, once again, it's it's not a carbon copy. And another thing as well is the length. Uh, a Squirly Bear is much longer than Ben. Um, yeah, so Ben doesn't deserve your hair to get. And I'd recommend getting a Ben, honestly. I'd recommend a Ben over a Squirly Bear any day. The reason is, obviously, anyone who's fished got a Squirly Bear, brand new out of the box, you all know it's a bit naff straight away. You get you get the lure. you got a lot of stuff wrong with it. First of all, you have to epoxy, obviously, sometimes you have to epoxy the hook haggers because they've got holes in it, first of all, so they fill up with water, don't work properly. Um, you get out of the box, you have to reweight them, you know, to... My tail's been bitten half, so yeah, we'll just ignore that. But yeah, you have to reweight them just for them to sit and work properly. 
uh, that could take a long time. You get anything off, it's completely ruined. Um, another thing with the tail, the tail's stuck in there. You can't really change anything with it or set it how you want it. You set the tail, if it gets bit, you know, anything happens to it, it gets knocked off. That's that's another problem. It's The waiting's gone again and you have to, it won't be sat, sat properly in the water. So, yeah, but with Ben, you get this, and it's it's fine, you know, you can just fish it straight as it comes, you don't need to re-weight it, do any, cover any holes or anything. It's a great little lure, and it needs more love than it gets from some of you people. But, yeah, so, <laughs> enough of that now, we'll get into the review. Um, ben, it's a great lure, yeah, it's beautiful, just like the rest of Mark's work. It's got, you know, beautiful paintwork. Nice hard epoxy, uh, split ring on the head, so easy clipped, very good. And also it's got a corkscrew system in the tail, just like little Johnny, you could just take your tail off, screw it on, and you get two two tails, what you get with it? You get a pink one, well, you don't get a pink one, but you get two colours that match the lure colour you get. So I've got rainbow trout, Um. so i got a pink tail and a silver tail, and I've opted for pink. And a little tip, people think, when you get your Ben, that the corkscrew tail, you just screw it on and fish it like that, but that's not the case. The corkscrew tail is literally there to set it how you want to. So, you know, because after time, you just fish it with just the corkscrew holding the tail, it will come, it'll screw itself off and you lose your tail. But if that happens, you know, Mark does sell spare tails for a pound each, um, which I think is really good, because uh, quite cheap as well. So, in that case, so what you want to do, yeah, once you get your bent, go to the bank, cast it in, and see how, the, see how it sits in the water and retrieve it. Obviously, you know, your pulls. Um, if the tail's not straight, it'll, st it'll go to the left, or if it's too much that way, it'll go to the right. So, get it as you want it, set how you want it. If you set it, and it goes that way, turn it to the right. If you set it, it goes right, turn it to the left, you know, till you get it ideal. And then put a little dab of super glue and keep it in place and that'll be sat perfect. And then, you know, you just, you just rip it off from that and then replace your tail when needed. So, yep, yeah, that's a little thing about the tail. Um, nice sharp hooks as, as normal. You know, very nice, very sharp. Uh, I've heard as well they've got good hookups as well. Um, got this and I've not, I've, I have fished it but I've had no fish on it yet. Because, uh, you know, when I've been fishing, current's been strong, middle of winter absolutely freezing cold my rod tip was freezing up with that's how cold it was um but yeah beautiful in the water and it, it's i know it's going to catch fish um so yeah how i like to fish it so like i said cast it out um wait a few seconds for it to lift up in the water and then just give a pull of your rod and it'll dive down give it a few seconds rise back up dive um hit you know Pull the rod again, it'll go down. Or, you know, a small tap so it'll get down. Either way. Uh, it's got a nice channel rattle as well. So in those poles, it'll get that noise. Track the fish as well. And, yeah, so that's how I fish it. You know, beautiful little lure. Absolutely beautiful. Mark really puts the effort in with these lures. And the work just shows. Um, you know, you wait a few, you wait a few weeks for uh, uh, orders, but... Yeah, it's it's worth it in the end because the paint job's just fantastic on all these lures. I mean, yeah, a lot of work, a lot of hard work has been put into them. So, you know, really worth uh, it when they come through in the end because they're just breathtaking. And obviously on the video they look good, but wait until you have them in your hands to look even better, honestly. So there we go, guys. That's PM Lures. Uh, fantastic little collection there. Fantastic little lures or big lures. Fantastic paintwork on them and very durable as well. So yeah, highly recommend them. If you're not familiar with PM Lures, I'll put a link in for in um, for the Facebook page in the description. You can have a little look through. Uh, do some great lures, and um, you may have a few new lures coming out soon. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, if you want to see the rat in action as well, I'll put a link to Dom's video in the description as well for you to check out so you can see that working and see some of the nice fish he's catching on him. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video guys.